2 Kings 16. In the seventeenth year of Pekah, the son of Ramal Yahu, Ahaz, the son of Yotham, king of Yehuda, began to reign. Twenty years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and reigned sixteen years in Yerushalayim, and did not that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah his Elohim, like David his father. But he walked in the way of the kings of Yasharel, yea, and made his son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the heathen, whom Yahuwah cast out from before the children of Yasharel. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places, and on the hills, and under every green tree. Then Rezan, king of Syria, and Pekas, son of Ramal Yahu, king of Yasharel, came up to Yerushalayim to war, and they besieged Ahaz, but could not overcome him. At that time, Rezan, king of Syria, recovered Alath to Syria, and drave the Yahudim from Alath. And the Syrians came to Alath and dwelt there unto this day. So Ahaz sent messengers to Tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, saying, I am thy servant and thy son. Come up and save me out of the hand of the king of Syria and out of the hand of the king of Yasharel, which rise up against me. And Ahaz took the silver and gold that was found in the house of Yahua and in the treasures of the king's house and sent it for a present to the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyria hearkened unto him, for the king of Assyria went up against Damascus and took it, and carried the people of it captive to Ker, and slew Rezan. And king Ahaz went to Damascus to meet Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, and saw an altar that was at Damascus, and King Ahaz sent to Yuri Yahu the priest the fashion of the altar and the pattern of it, according to all the workmanship thereof. And Yuri Yahu the priest built an altar according to all that King Ahaz had sent from Damascus. So Yuri Yahu the priest made it against King Ahaz came from Damascus. And when the king was come from Damascus, the king saw the altar, and the king approached to the altar and offered thereon. And he burnt his burnt offering and his meat offering, and poured his drink offering, and sprinkled the blood of his peace offerings upon the altar. And he brought also the brazen altar, which was before Yahuwah, from the forefront of the house, from between the altar and the house of Yahuwah, and put it on the north side of the altar. And King Ahaz commanded Yuri Yahu the priest, saying, Upon the great altar burn the morning burnt offering, and the evening meat offering, and the king's burnt sacrifice, and his meat offering, with the burnt offering of all the people of the land, and their meat offering, and their drink offerings, and sprinkle upon it all the blood of the burnt offering, and all the blood of the sacrifice, and the brazen altar shall be for me to inquire by. Thus did Yuri Yahu the priest, according to all that King Ahaz commanded. And King Ahaz cut off the borders of the bases, and removed the lava from off them, and took down the sea from off the brazen oxen that were under it, and put it upon a pavement of stones, and the covert for the Sabbath that they had built in the house, and the king's entry without, turned he from the house of Yahuwah for the king of Assyria. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaz which he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Yehuda? And Ahaz slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, and Hezekiah, his son, reigned in his stead.